Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of our Scuff Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. Today we are up to episode 13. Today we're going to be going over our leg Z step. This is going to be linked to our body Z movement. We're also going to cover fixing our key forms, so copying and pasting key forms on our leg Z parameter, as well as fixing our torso movement. We then move on to our physics settings for our hip X, which we rigged in our previous video, episode 12. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend you pausing this video and completing that tutorial first if you haven't rigged your hip X parameter yet. I also show my physics settings for the Z leg step and what that will look like when it's all put together. Okay. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Recap. Okay, so in our previous video we went over hips X and we rigged on this parameter. This is what we ended up with. So we went over how to mesh the items. And we also went over gluing. We also did our body Z, so the top of our torso and how that moves. And now let's work on our step C. C leg step one. We're gonna create a new parameter. I'm gonna call this Z leg step. So basically when we go to negative 30 on Z leg step and negative 30 on body Z, we want our leg to move outwards. So let's create a rotation deformer and call this Z step. And this is going to be on top of our leg X warp deformer. Control, hold control, and move it up to the hip and create some keyforms. And create keyforms on both body Z and Z leg step. So we're going to move the leg outwards by rotating it. And it looks like this. We can actually go to the bottom and select on that little camera icon and take a screenshot of what our body looks like in the middle keyform so that we can actually compare how our body moves between keyforms. We went over this on our previous video. So let's create a warp deformer on top of leg X and call it leg Z. Let's create some keyforms, and you can grab the brush tool and select the lower half of the leg. And we can actually just bring that leg in a bit more, so that it doesn't look like it's deformed too much from the original leg shape. So we want it to look quite natural, so we're just stepping sideways. If we think about how our body moves with the weight distribution and balance, as the upper body moves with our body Z, we want our lower body to move to compensate for the weight. So as our torso leans sideways, as a chain reaction, we want our leg to subsequently move to distribute our weight onto that corresponding leg. So I just created a warp deformer for my foot, and you can angle the foot as well once it's keyformed. So when we go to positive 30 for Z leg step, we want our leg to step inwards. Z leg step two. And we're gonna do the same for the other side of the body. So we're gonna create that warp deformer, leg Z and a rotation deformer on top of that leg Z. And you can hold control, move it up to the hip, keyform. So we're going to replicate this look and take a screenshot of how that looks. So positive 30, 
you can compare how negative 30 looks and move the leg outwards. And then you can select that brush tool on your warp deformer and you can warp that leg. If you think about how you lean your body, if you lean your torso to the left or the right, we want our leg to move to accommodate that weight so we don't fall over. So at the moment our torso is moving to the right so we want our right leg to move outwards to accommodate that weight. In a game you can create a foot warp deformer and warp that foot. I took another screenshot of what our leg looks like when it's stepping inward and I tried to replicate that with my right leg. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Fixing keyforms. Okay, so I just revealed the arms and the boobers. So I ended up going to negative 30 for body Z and negative 30 for Z leg step. And I went control shift C to copy that keyform. And then I went to uh, the middle keyform for body Z, so it was zero, while still being on negative 30 for Z leg step. And I went control shift V. So I pasted the values of that keyform. I then went to positive 30 body Z and positive 30 for Z leg step and I went control shift C and then while still being on positive 30 for Z leg step I went to the zero keyform for body Z and I went control shift V and I pasted the values of the keyform. I decided to actually redo my torso and how it was keyformed on the body X and body Y parameters because I feel like our glue for our hips video um, kind of changed how our torso looked so I just wanted to redo it so that it didn't look too strange. This is entirely optional. And there we have it. It's a little bit less crooked. Physics settings. So let's go into our physics settings. You can go add a group. And I call this hips x. And go OK. You can add the input parameter. So we're adding our body x. This is not the default body x in Live 2D Cubism. This is the one that we have created and the one that we have rigged on. So these are the settings that I have for group 1, so hips x, so I changed the type to angle and effectivity to 100 for body x, and for normalization of input, the minimum for angle was negative 30, maximum positive 30, position was negative 20 to positive 20, and at the bottom we added a pendulum with a duration 10, shaking 0.8, reaction 1, overall acceleration was 0.8. And you can adjust these according to the look that you desire. For our output settings, we added the hips x parameter that we rigged on in our previous video. And I set the scale to 40. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Now for group 2, body, z, org, main. So uh, the minimum and maximum for angle under the normalization of input was negative 30 to positive 30. And position x was negative 10 to positive 10. Under input, we put in body z, type angle, effectivity 90, and then angle z, type angle, effectivity 10. Now these two are the default parameters for live 2D, which we have not rigged on. And then we put in body x as well. I don't actually know why I put in body x because I ended up setting the effectivity to zero anyway. We added two pendulums. Duration for the first pendulum is 8.5, shaking 0.8, reaction 1, acceleration 0.8. And then for the second pendulum, duration 10, shaking 0.95, reaction 1, overall acceleration 1. And then under output settings, we put in body z and z leg step. 
and those two parameters that we have output uh, they both are on pendulum one effectivity is set to 100 scale set to 30 so these two parameters body z and z leg step these are the two that we have created and have just rigged on whereas the other parameters in the input settings are the default live 2d parameters this is how we create the body augmentation so that is group two and here you can see what it all looks like when it's put together so this is hips x and this is body z so you can see how there's a delay with the hip and leg movement and that is what we want summary and outro Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today's video was a little bit shorter. In our next video, we will cover hips Y, and later we will cover our legs physics, like the thigh jiggle and rigging our X and Y parameters for our legs. As always, make sure to grab some food and water. You gotta look after your body and mind. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night. Bye bye.